UFC 272. This is a great fight. Personalities make fights. Styles make fights. By the way, you've been in a really good mood lately. I noticed you. I follow you on social media. And there used to be a time in your life you could get feisty. You are even nice to the media. What is going on in your life? Why are you so happy? I don't have a lot to be pissed off about these days, <laughs> to be honest with you. <laughs> well, you're sports crushing. So I like the, here's why I like this fight. I, I tend to think styles make fights. Um, and uh, Covington's kind of a relentless attacker. Masvidal is interesting. He's very popular. I get a big personality. Um, he's won his last five fights. He'll go after you. So when I look at this, not that it's Diaz and McGregor, but the style tells me get there early. This could be this could be fast, right? I don't know. It's it's an interesting fight because, like you said, the storyline is incredible. I mean, th these guys. Roommates, training partners, corner men, uh, literally friends that hung out and spent time together. Uh, now they hate each other. And, you know, you got Colby Covington, who is the number one guy in the world at 170 pounds. If Kamaru Usman does not exist, this guy is the world champion. Uh, going in against Masvidal, who, like you said, is mean, nasty, aggressive, uh, in your face. Stylistically, it, it, it should be yes. a fun fight unless Colby Covington decides to wrestle and uh, take him down and, you know, which he's never done. He yep. usually stands, makes people worry about his wrestling and, uh, you know, strikes. So by, if by he the does way, that with Masvidal, it's going to be interesting. You know, Dana, it is interesting. It, it is, we know this, and you, you and I grew up with boxing. There were great fighters. Like Larry Holmes was boring, but he was a great fighter. He was a champ forever. Ali was fascinating. Foreman was fascinating. Uh, Tyson was fascinating. And it is interesting with Covington because he can do two di different things. He, he's got principles he's good at. Do you ever, as a, as a, I mean, you're an authentic UFC guy. You know the sport better than anybody. But, but do you think sometimes when you make matches, would you rather have guys go toe to toe because it's simply a better product for me, the consumer? I don't know. I mean, we've been on such a run right now that tell me the last. UFC card you watched that sucked. I mean, it's just, <laughs> we're, we're on a crazy run right now. It's just, you know, we, we make these fights. We, we put the best fighters against the best fighters in the world. And, you know, we, we do all the bells and whistles. And once that door shuts, these guys go, man. And the fights have been incredible. And last weekend was like one of those sleeper cards that, you know, people weren't talking about all the fights on the card, but the card was incredible. Now, Covington's a guy, he'll go after, he went after LeBron, he's controversial. Does that ever bother you? Or are you totally okay with that? I let these guys and girls be who they are. You know, I don't try to muzzle anybody, you know, the, 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 and, and I let them who be whoever they are. You, yeah. you might not like them, you might hate them. Well, good. Tune in Saturday and, and watch and see what happens. Okay, McGregor Diaz 3. I said this when it happened. I said it reminded me of Ali Frazier. That literally you could the, they were they hated each other. The styles were different. The personalities were different. Um, where are you at with Conor McGregor as a guy? You've had there have been times you've you've been almost like a mentor to him. Sometimes he drives you nuts. Is he going to fight again? What is he saying on Twitter? Where are you at with Conor? Yeah, you know he he wants to fight again. He's a competitor. He's got to wait till this leg heals and it's a hundred percent and. Uh, and like I said, I, I, I was just saying to these guys before, I have fights all the way up to June 18th already. So Connor probably won't fight until early fall. Hmm. So Diaz tweaked him this morning saying he needs to win fights so he's not so fragile, which is great for your business. Um, how do you look at these like trilogies or these legacy fights? Because you don't want it to tarnish ultimately the previous fights is Diaz McGregor to you. Would it be a great fight? Would it be the last fight for them? How do you look at McGregor as a whole as legacy for your brand? Well, tell me the last bad fight you saw with McGregor or Diaz. You know what I mean? Their fights are always incredible. So, you know, when they fight each other, it's going to be like the first two. Yeah. Um, and we always have that fight. That fight's there. So when, when McGregor is better, he's ranked number nine in the world right now, when he's ready to go, we'll see what the, what the lay of the land is and, and the lightweight division. And, and we'll figure out what's next for him. Um, we're talking about a possible Dustin Poirier. Yeah. Nate Diaz fight. So we'll see if that happens. And I, I it's, it's just hard to say right now until Connor comes back. So I thought Diaz wanted to fight with him. Do you ever get into 
real like arguments about when a fighter comes and says, I want that guy. Do you ever take that in and go, listen, the kids, he's authentic. He's passionate. Or, or do you, are you just going to make styles fights card? It's a Dana decision solely. Yeah. We, we, we make the fights that make sense. Uh, and even if there's a fight that, that doesn't really make sense, if the fans want it bad enough, then I'll do it. By the way, uh, I don't hear a lot of it. Uh, I hear some people out there, and you 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 take your swings at guys when guys are talking about, you know, pay the fighters more and all that stuff. And I always say to myself, well, the guys that are great get rich. Where are you at on that space? Because you, you've gotten a lot of pushback last two or three years. Not a lot in terms of volume, but loud people. Where do you land on that? Yeah, well, we, we don't. Do you hear any of the fighters coming out and saying what they're being paid? They don't do it. The, the, the fighters don't want people to know what they're being paid either. Um and uh, I don't let any outside, you know, noise or whatever you want to call it, tell me how to run my business. I've been doing this for 20 years. I've done a pretty good job. If you don't like the way I'm running my business, then go start your own and pay anybody whatever you want to. There's been plenty of guys that have done it. Smart guys. Very, uh, uh, you know, guys who've run multi-billion dollar businesses have tried to do this. Get in here. You think you're smart? Get in here and you, you, you figure it out. But I'm not going to listen to I'm not going to listen to some some media guy telling me how to run my business and I'm definitely not listening to any idiots on Twitter. By the way, it's better for your business if Masvidal wins this weekend. It's better because Co Covington's controversial. He's very polarizing. Masvidal's wildly popular. If he wins, do you know that, right? It's better if Masvidal wins. Th there's never a better. Who whoever wins wins. And, and you know, believe me, 20 years ago, I used to think that way. Oh, no, if this guy doesn't win, this, it's not true. Who, whoever wins the fight wins and then moves on to the next fight, and it, it, it all works out. If the best are fighting the best, all that matters is, is that. By the way, uh, is that an employee behind you? Because he's a slacker. He's not doing anything. Who's that guy yeah, behind him? This, this, this guy laying on the couch yeah, behind me? Doing yeah, doing nothing. He is a slacker. Exactly. Yeah, they're wondering why there's a guy laying on the couch behind me. Yeah, in my interview. it's unbelievable. <laughs> He's <laughs> like, if that guy works here, he ain't doing much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, UFC 272, Covington Masvidal. It's a great fight. By the way, the T-Mobile Arena, I don't know if there are tickets left, but it's a great arena if you've never been to it. Are there tickets left? Yes, yes, there's tickets left. All right, tell that guy to get to work. It's, it's not up to your standards. I, I'll get him to work right now, buddy. All right, good seeing you, Dana. See you. All right. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.